Arnold State Park. Uh, got up this morning to come out here and try some sunrise shots. Uh, not the cloudiest of days, so it's going to be a as the sunrises go, the more boring of them, but it's good to be out here and taking some photos. Uh, I've never actually shot out here at Odeon. Um, it's really just right across the way from Fort Stark, which is where I've shot before uh, and done a video there. Um, but this is all new, so I'm just kind of searching around and looking for good spots. Um, I've already taken a few um, just of uh, the very, very early sunrise, and it wasn't even worth attempting to do a video at that point. Uh, since it was so gosh darn dark. Um, but I'm basically going to move along the coast here. I think the tide is coming in. It's getting a little wavy and I've got to watch out because I've already almost got wet a couple times. Uh, but as you can see behind me, what I've been dealing with this morning in the uh, just getting out here is all of these seaweed covered rocks. They go back pretty far. Uh, and they're a little treacherous, and you got to watch for tide pools, otherwise I'm going to get my feet totally soaked. So hopefully we end up with some good stuff here. Uh, I'll pull you back out again, and we'll chat if I can find a good spot as I'm walking along uh, the rocks here. Uh, so I hope you enjoy the video, uh, and I'll talk to you in a little bit. something a little different than I was expecting to do. Uh, I moved away from the water back into what I have to assume was uh, part of uh, the original structure out here on the point and uh, there's some stairway and some posts and I'm going to try to line that up with the sun and see how it turns out. I'm going to do a bracketed exposure and uh, play with it in Photoshop uh, after it's all said and done. Um, and I don't have much time, but I'll show you here real quick what the uh, composition looks like. So you can see I have these two posts on either side of this giant stone wall. I've got the sunrise in the background. You may not be able to make it out in this video, but the whale back light is in the distance there. Uh, and I've got just seconds before the sun comes up over the horizon over there. So I think if I do it just right, I should be able to line the sun up with this column and get some bright flares off of it and get a really neat picture. I'm going to try it out. Uh, you'll see what the result is. It, maybe it comes out, maybe it doesn't. I guess we'll see. All right. Here comes the sun just over the horizon. I'm going to have to move a little bit here. Just get Sun on the edge. Like so. And we're gonna do nine bracketed exposures, so you're gonna hear it go off nine times. center this shot into the middle here and maybe drop down just a tiny bit until the sun is just peeking over the top of the stone wall and do a very similar thing here go with almost a diagonal composition 
and again with the nine bracketed exposures. Let's see what we get. that sunrise is pretty gorgeous even without some cloud cover all right so I'm gonna move on to uh, a different spot and we'll take it from there the composition. This is, uh, I'm not entirely sure what the name of this street is, but if you catch it just right, you get a great reflection shot here. Um, and I really like this boat launch. It's kind of a centered leading line. So uh, that's the shot. And uh, I think I'm going to go into town and grab some coffee. <laughs> subscribe uh, as I plan on doing these throughout the year uh, as I progressively work on various aspects of my photography. Um, I'm starting to add in just a little bit more about what exactly it is that I'm doing as far as uh, how I'm taking the pictures. Um, I'll probably add more and more as uh, you know if there's folks out there that are interested in uh, how I produce the pictures and what I'm what the specific things that I'm working on are. Um, uh, but other than that, uh, have a good week, and uh, hopefully I get a chance to get out next week and uh, do this again.